The next great war will not begin with a warning. It won't start with boots on the ground or jets screaming overhead. It will begin in silence. A perfectly calm sky, pierced not by aircraft, but by hundreds of tiny synchronized dots rising from ships, bunkers, and towers. They look like insects at first, until you realize they're machines. Autonomous. Cold. Already choosing their targets. In 2021, the Cargo 2 drone was deployed in Libya, and it made history. Without waiting for human input, it hunted down and attacked a retreating soldier. It was the first time a weapon made the decision to kill entirely on its own. No trigger was pulled, no permission given. Just a machine, a target, and an algorithm doing what it was built to do, end a life. That single moment rewrote the rules of war. Across the globe, military leaders and defense companies took note. What followed was not a pause for ethical discussion, it was a race. A rush to develop faster drones, smarter weapons, and battlefield networks that could operate without human interference. No soldier hesitates like a machine that doesn't care. Swarms are now the future. Hundreds of autonomous drones flying in coordinated packs, adapting in real time. China has demonstrated AI-controlled aerial swarms navigating terrain and changing formation mid-flight. The United States has tested air-launched mini-drones deployed from fighters. Turkey's Kargu and Alpegu swarms are already combat capable. Once launched, they think together, like a hive. If one is destroyed, the others instantly adjust. No chain of command, just decision and action. Now imagine standing beneath that swarm as it descends. The sky flickers with blinking lights, each one identifying heat signatures, marking movements, and communicating with its neighbors. Anti-air systems can't keep up. The swarm breaks apart, circles wide, and surrounds its prey. You could shoot down 20 and still be overwhelmed by 200 more. There's no commander to kill, no HQ to strike. The intelligence is everywhere in every unit. On the ground, the evolution is even more visceral. Robot quadrupeds, what once looked like science fair projects, now patrol test zones with mounted rifles. In the US, Ghost Robotics has demonstrated armed dog-like machines that climb stairs, stabilize under fire, and aim with deadly precision. China's models can follow soldiers into the field, scan terrain for ambushes, and potentially kill on site if programmed to do so. These aren't future concepts. They are here now, waiting for mass deployment. Picture a city block at night. Sirens are silent. A mechanical form walks alone, scanning windows, identifying threats, relaying data to no one. Because it doesn't need anyone. When the moment comes, it doesn't scream or hesitate. It fires. Then it moves on. This is not a drone strike from miles away. This is execution on foot, in neighborhoods, against targets chosen by sensors, not conscience. Even borders are no longer patrolled by men. In South Korea, semi-autonomous gun towers watch the DMZ. They can detect, track, and woof, if authorized, fire on human targets without direct contact. Some claim human approval is always required. Others whisper that the line between authorization and automation is thinner than we think. Up above, lasers are changing the air war entirely. The US Navy's Helio system has already been installed aboard warships, a directed energy weapon capable of vaporizing drones and missiles with pinpoint accuracy. It doesn't explode, it doesn't make noise. A silent beam of light hits a target, and it's gone. Israel's iron beam can shoot down short-range rockets with the same technology. China is developing laser platforms to disable satellites, making war in space a quiet, blinding affair. At sea, the shift is just as dramatic. The U.S. Sea Hunter is an AI-powered submarine tracking ship that requires no crew. It can trail an enemy sub for months without a single human on board. Unmanned underwater drones now can ocean floors, laying mines or surveilling ships. War at sea is no longer a matter of fleets. It's a matter of silence. Whoever detects first, wins. Cyber warfare, no longer conducted by lone hackers, but by AIs that move faster than thought. These systems scan global traffic, find security gaps, and deploy custom-made malware in seconds. Some AIs are even trained to mimic a target's behavior, allowing them to impersonate generals, politicians, or soldiers via email or video with near-perfect accuracy. Reality itself becomes a weapon. Cyber warfare is on the rise. Billions are spent on prevention and deployment. By the time truth caught up, lives had already been lost. Fake messages on deployment can be costly. What happens when troops don't trust their commanders? What happens when they're right not to? AI doesn't just execute, 
it strategizes. The U.S. Department of Defense has tested systems like Project Convergence, where AI tools plan entire missions, analyze terrain, assign roles, and monitor live combat. In these war games, AI outperforms human commanders by reacting faster, calculating more outcomes, and refusing to hesitate. And when the choice is between saving one platoon or winning the battle, the algorithm doesn't blink. Ethical lines are fading fast. The more efficient a system becomes, the less room it has for morality, human rules of war, proportionality, discrimination, compassion, don't compute. If the AI concludes that a hospital is a valid target because it contains a transmitter, it won't ask for clarification. It will strike, and it won't fell regret. In some military simulations, AI has already chosen to sacrifice its own side to win faster. No emotional pause, no delay, just optimization. Once that thinking dominates a battlefield, the human element isn't just unnecessary, it becomes a liability. And what happens when two AI superpowers go to war? There will be no draft, no speeches, no escalation. One AI detects an aggressive move, a satellite going dark, a radar glitch, a pattern in cyber traffic. Within minutes, drones are airborne, lasers are firing, systems are collapsing. No side wants it, no one authorizes it, but the war has already begun. Imagine waking up to a world that's already gone dark. The internet is down. GPS doesn't work. A drone swarm flies silently overhead. Autonomous tanks move through cities. No enemy soldiers in sight. Only machines. Executing the war they were programmed for. No announcement. No flags. Just impact. You try to run, you try to call someone, but A satellites are gone, the communication's jammed. The cities are shadows. And the machines? They are still moving, methodical, calculated, heartless. The war isn't over. It never really started. It was simply activated. This is real danger of autonomous war. Not the weapons. Not the battles. Only a variable. To be measured, moved, or removed. We've trained the machines to fight, but we've never trained them to stop. Knowledge is power. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you would like to see more, please subscribe to see future videos.